go and transfer to the heat exchanger. So here this is a you can see the heat exchangers here. So you can see the heat exchangers here, and uh, how the uh, so this is the heat exchanger where uh, where you are seeing here. So here what is happening is this uh, the heavy water is taking the uh, hotness and it is transferring the heat to the heat exchanger. See here it is not mixing the normal water. This is the pipe where normal water is pumped inside. Normal water will go and it will have a heat exchanger heat exchange with the heavy water. So only transfer of heat will be there. So then the heat will uh, the uh, normal water will be converted into steam because as I told that the temperature inside is uh, around 380 degrees centigrade. The pressure is around 170 bar pressure. Heavy water will be the remaining as a say, same heavy water itself. So the pressure, uh, then it will be transferred. It will transfer the heat to normal water. Normal water will become steam. Steam will go to the turbine. You can see the turbine uh, turbine building here. You can see the turbine building here. So this turbine building, you can see the steam is going, coming, and then impinging the turbine. So you you can see the turbo generator which is rotating. So once that uh, steam is impinging the turbine, turbine is coupled with the generator. Generator will produce electricity. Okay. Okay. So then the electricity is coming to the uh, transformer from the transfer to the grid. So this is a normal working phenomenon of uh, uh, pressure is heavy reactor. So what is the steam is going in and it is, you can see the condenser where uh, uh, that water is condensed, uh, steam is condensed here, then it is again pumped. So this is a closed cycle. So where uh, we are not wasting water also. So this is a closed, closed cycle only. So the same water circulated here for steaming and then again uh, returning back. And uh, so from this is actually, for example, one kg of uranium, Madam has told that uh, point seven, uh, seven percent of uh, uh, to that if you only will undergo fission, that is one kg means around it will be seven grams will be there. So seven grams, uh, this nuclear reactor will produce about 50,000 kilowatt hour. So uh, after that remaining 993 grams of uh, uranium 238 will be there. This uranium 238 will uh, convert into plutonium. Some of them will be converted into plutonium. Thus, that plutonium converted plutonium will be used in the second stage of nuclear reactor. So that after reprocessing it, we can we can uh, produce about uh, 35 lakh kilowatt hour. So put together from this reactor to the next stage reactor. So I'll be showing the next stage reactor. So this is the uh, second stage reactor. This second stage is uh, it is a pressure. Uh, it is a sodium cooled nuclear reactor. The fast beta reactor. This is the only fast beta reactor working at Kalpakam. It is about a 40 kilo, 40 megawatt nuclear reactor. So this is a test reactor. We are have we had an experience, uh, experience of operating that uh, test reactor for 35 to 37 years, and it has successfully completed 37 years actually. And uh, we have we have been mastered in uh, uh, producing the uh, uh, fuel because nobody has given. So this is our own fuel we have uh, used in this nuclear reactor. The only reactor which is running here in Kalpakam. The this is a second stage reactor uh, uh, as I told. So this is this reactor is having a fuel of uh, plutonium and uranium. So it is a, this is a carbide fuel used here. So plutonium here actually what is happening is plutonium is fed inside and the fission takes place. So here this reactor also converts uh, uranium 238 into plutonium again plutonium. So this reactor runs with plutonium, produces plutonium to, for its own purpose for running, and also converts thorium 232 into uranium 233. So this reactor is a unique reactor. Which uh, now recently we have uh, constructed a, a 500 megawatt commercial reactor, and uh, it may soon come to operation. So this is uh, this is uh, you can see the same the working principle of the steam generator. Everything same. <coughs> you can see here, but the steam here sodium is pumped inside. Only thing is the sodium medium uh, the cooling medium is only sodium here. The sodium is uh, hot sodium is pumped inside. And uh, how it is pumped? Uh, what is the pump used? Because the temperature is about uh, 580 to uh, 500 to 580 degrees centigrade. Actually, so that uh, uh, Sri Ramu sir will be uh, he will be explaining about that one. So uh, because the pump does not have any moving part at all, but it is pumping. So he will be explaining that wonderful uh, uh, equipment. So other thing is that the uh, sodium is pumped inside. It is removed. The primary the sodium and secondary sodium. Again, it is transfer heat to secondary sodium. Second sodium will transfer heat, uh, heat to uh, water. Here, normal water is pumped. You can see a uh, serpentine type uh, steam generator here. It is like uh, S type. So it is called a serpentine type, actually. So water is pumped from bottom. Sodium is from the top. 
So, but uh, both will not get mixed, okay? Because sodium and water are entirely, uh, they are both our enemies actually. So, it will react with uh, water and uh, so that is the reason actually what, has, what they had done, the wonderful design they had done, that is the, uh, the materials also, wonderful material they have uh, 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 tested for many years and uh, that material, that is actually, uh, so th uh, this um, uh, sodium will be pumped from top to bottom and and uh, water will be pumped from bottom to top. So the water will, water will be in small tubes and the sh uh, sh it's a shell and tube uh, arrangement will be there. The shell will be having sodium. So inner, inner uh, the sodium, uh, uh, outer, outer uh, shell will be sodium, inner will be water. So water will be flowing in small tubes and it will become a steam. It will go and impede the turbine and turbine will produce electricity. That is, a, that is a, you can see the uh, generator is coupled and put to produce electricity. So this is the concept of phosphate reactor. And uh, you can see here the third stage. So we have a three-stage nuclear reactors. That is the third stage. You can see. Uh... Okay, this third stage. This is a small mini reactor we have uh, uh, at Kalpakam itself. The, all the three stages reactors are Kalpakam. In nowhere it is the world. It is there. So this is a small reactor which can produce about twenty kilowatt. Uh, just to put twenty kilometer test. Uh, uh, thermal energy it is producing this is a small reactor so it is a test reactor this reactor will be running with uh, with the fuel of uh, uh, urine 233 so water fuel is the uh, um, thorium 232 is converted as uronium 233 will be used fuel in this reactor okay so this reactor um, in future uh, this is an advanced uh, uh, high water reactor it will be coming so this is a, a small test reactor only we have at kalpa